Um, last night I got the uh, everything put together. Realized that I just went up by one tooth from the old sprocket that I had on the rear, and I went the size up when I was meant to put to go to a size down, which is uh, which is very very close to what I think I was looking at like. Right behind you uh, is Samuel Rogers. I'm gonna link his Instagram down in the description, this person, and also his photography page. He, he, he agrees with me. <laughs> he agrees with me. Just filming you, it's so much better because then your true self kind of comes out and, and you're confident in front of the camera. Not like when you're alone. Stop pointing at my dick. Stop pointing at my fucking titties. Are you pointing at my titties? Titties, brother. I don't have titties. Oh, sh. I love my camera, man. Ooh. Finally. After, I don't know how long I've been trying to get this thing done with. You see very, very freely spinning, huh? Sheesh. Sheesh. And then I need to line this up. So then, so we get it on. What the fuck? I think it doesn't go flush with it. How should I fucking know this for the gunk and shit? I can't, I couldn't even tell. Sorry, my friend. Like, it, it's not, it's meant to align with the teeth, but it's not meant to align with the teeth at the same time, if it makes sense. Does that make sense? Because the, the whole point of this metal thing in the middle is, oh, actually, actually, I, I did an oopsie. I did an oopsie. I pushed it way too much inwards and it's meant to be sandwiched together because look check it out this this went the, the sprocket went directly back and this is meant to like stop at a certain angle so that it doesn't go in or out and it screws into this one this this metal plate and these bolts screwing together so it like holds everything together so when the chain goes around it doesn't scratch the back of the thing Oh, you see the freaking YouTube certified baby, and I learned some shit every new. Learn some shit every, every new. new. Yeah, great fucking England you tour. <laughs> Spreading his legs as well. Yeah, dude, maximum, maximum effort. You know what's funny to me? I see mechanics stress out and fuck around with stuff all the time when it comes to bikes. They're like, oh, I'm a doctor. I want to get it done. I want to get it done. All they need to do is just be chill <laughs> and line it up slowly and slowly. <laughs> That's fucking nasty. <laughs> That's so mean. You know what time it is? It's uh, 5.33. No, it's chain time, bro. You got a gut feeling that this chain is way too long. That's what she said. Get me the other chain. Which one? The one that's over there. Holy moly. Well, this is literally you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> Chain's too long. <laughs> Has to be that long. So why can't you just use that chain? Because that one has been on there since factory. It's like five years old. And by time, the chain... Actually, I can't see because it's one short there. But this thing, by time, it expands. This is like s smaller. Fuck no, that made me jump in. Fuck. <laughs> when you see this, the diagram, mm -hmm. you're thinking 
the way I did it, right? You just freaking line in the pieces together and you put the clip there. But the direction of rotation is this way, saying clockwise. But as it goes, it goes like this. I'm so confused. Fuck it, this is how we fucking do it all the time. I just went on YouTube, like as I did with Citizen the Crew, and I saw on the video that you're meant to have uh, a line and a quarter line show. So basically, what I mean by that is as much as you're tightening, that's your specification that's how you need to get it tight so you have enough slack but from what I can tell it's not gonna come off I think but because look you can tell it was right here that's how much I have to keep the chain in but now I feel like the chain is gonna be uh, how it is now it's a bit short there but I don't know if it's gonna make a difference I think it's it's going to make a difference, I think, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to make a difference, but we'll see when I test drive it now. Really? <laughs> you can tell that this needs to be better tightened and shit. yesterday by mistake and I need to fucking get a new one now. Yeah, I can feel it like literally eh. <laughs> now I go steal his things. <laughs> changed the air filter that's a performance air filter by KNN I also changed the chain on this bike um, what I realized was because of last night I tipped over the bike by mistake I was trying to jack it up so it's perfectly straight on the rocks that I jacked it up onto and it ended up toppling over I didn't see any scratches on the body of the bike but I realized after riding the motorcycle that the handlebar bent up a bit because it literally felt like I was riding like this instead of riding like this. It felt like I was riding like this, so it was kind of uncomfortable. I bent it back into shape. Hopefully, it stays that way. But one day, I'm going to be upgrading that to a uh, pro taper bar. So it's going to be a win, a plus, or a dub, or an L. I don't know. Um, uh, tested it out. Works completely fine. Sammy had some fun with the bike. He saw some flames spitting out of the back of the exhaust. And he was he was a very happy boy. Where were you, you happy boy, Sam? He, he was a happy boy. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. And I hope to see you all very, very, very soon. Good night.